Hello. Hopefully this is working. How are we doing today? Welcome to Michael, who's in the chat as normal. And uh, welcome to Eliza, who has uh, joined in the comments there, I see. I was going to run TSW2 today with the scenarios that people submitted. But I hate to admit this. I broke TSW2. Uh, so -so. Oh, hopefully we can get better than so-so. Um, yeah, so I will fix TSW2 because I know what's wrong with it. I have consulted with the gurus. I will fix it. And then I can check out those scenarios and I'll announce a winner this afternoon. Life. Ah, what an exciting time it's been. Anyway, let's get into it. So, Smokebox released the, the well, it still says the UP Heavy Challenger, but it's not really anymore, is it? Because it's um, UP, and it's uh, Drango, and it's Clitchfield. So, it's released that. So, what I've done is in an incredible fit of preparation, and I hope this works, I copied this scenario, and I changed two of the Locos to be a Challenger. And then I copied this scenario and changed two of the locos to be a challenger. Now, it still has one diesel on there because I didn't have time to test it. And I wanted to make sure the train was the same length because that can mess up scenarios in Train Simulator Classic sometimes if the train changes length. Because you don't fit in sidings or you don't reach the right markers and things just go bang. So, without any further ado, let's see if it even starts. And I have to apologise for not testing this. Normally I would actually run the scenarios through after I've done some uh, jiggery-pokery like this. Just to make sure that they do actually work. Ooh, just while I'm thinking of it. Uh, 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 where's my head track software? It's gone. God damn it. It is running. Okay. I need to open this. Because I need to do this, because I moved. <laughs> okay, goodo. All right then. Good evening, engineer. You have a coal pickup run today. Finishing at Elkhorn City. Please check your briefing for more information. You'll be waiting here for a few minutes for the train meet. That's okay. Hello, Smokebox. How are you? Hello, NJTE. At some point... Well, NJTE, why didn't you enter your livery in the competition? Oh, well. So, what we've got is... I hope this is the HD version. Yes, I think it is. We have... Oh, no point looking at that side. It's blocked. We have the uh, Challenger in Kalinchfield livery. And we've got one GP9 sitting on the back there. And like I said, the reason I did that is the Challenger just happens to be pretty much the same length as two GP9s. And there used to be three GP9s on this one. So, hopefully, this uh, works out nicely. And apparently we're waiting for a train meet, but uh, I have a yellow signal, so I could just go. But let's have a look at the map. There is a train up there. Is it moving? No. Nah. But I dare say we're waiting for that one to come in. Because it did say, wait for a train meet, didn't it? Mind you, it also says I can go to Trammel Loop. Hmm. Perhaps we should come down here. Ah, there we are. I'm just being silly. Here's the train that's moving. That's what we're waiting for. Very good. So, Smokebox, apart from having the word Collegefield on the side, what else does it... Has anything else changed that I need to know about? Head tracking, you're going to be the death of me. No, no, I want to stay up there. I want to click buttons. Uh, that one. That one. Don't need that one. If I stick my head out, look, I can rub it on a carriage. Yeah, itchy head. 
Yeah, I'm just silly. Okay. So NJT said he didn't enter the competition because he doesn't need a key. Well, fair enough then. What have we got applied at the moment? We have our train brake. Looks like it's sitting in a either lap or release, one or the other. Let's just apply our engine brake so we don't go rolling away while we're waiting for this other train to come in. Here it comes. We should say hello to it, I think. Smokebox says there's the rectangular number board on the smokebox. Ah, yes. Correct colour too. Very nice. And a whole host of improvements to the, all the models in the pack. It's always a fun view. Now, the reason I'm not terribly prepared for this stream is because I have literally just been doing some stuff for Matt. I won't explain which Matt, because if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. Ooh, injector noises. And I am hearing a nice air compressor noise there. Oop. That's one thing about TSC is you can get inside trains. I don't want to be inside the train. I want to look up here. We have a green light, so we can go. Very good. Uh, I need to do this. So I can release the brakes and I can... Oops. Get back into running, get back into running. Yay! And I didn't get a warning, so I made it. Am I being naughty with no open cylinder cocks? Uh-oh. Well, it looks like the combination of the uh, Challenger and the Diesel are no match for these carriages. That's good. Is that signal still green? Yes, it is. Ah, very nice. Dual air compressor sounds. I should probably turn on the F3 hard or I won't know where I'm going. Oh, and I can piss away my air properly now. Oh dear. Mr. Northern Illinois, this is the 1950s young man. That rule did not exist. I had a horrible feeling then I was going into that short siding and I thought, uh oh. <laughs> I wonder how hard the diesel's going to push. Could the GP9 even move the Challenger if the Challenger didn't want to move? There's a the question. Do you know how weird it is looking at this route when I also play it in the TSW franchise? Uh, Smokebox says another update is the two multi-sided keys on the left-hand side rods are there. And they were missing in the release version. You know, no one would have noticed that except you. How's the game sound for people? Is it loud enough? Too loud? So, left side motion. Oops. Need to come down here. It is quite mesmerising watching motion, except when there's trees in the way and rocks. We can kind of watch some of the motion. Kind of. Oh, well, I think I'll give up on that. It's just silly. Yeah, we're down there. Okay. Well, good enough camera angle. And Smokebox says that the uh, 
diesel's throttle notch will depend on the regulator value of the Challenger. How much steam is in the steam chest? Hello, Neil TV8. How are you? Welcome. I'm trying desperately to get back up high. There we go. Should I say that um, this fruit actually looks better in TSC than it does in TSW? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Hmm. Tunnel. Uh, tunnel reflector. Was that sh shift M? No. Hmm. Hopefully Smokebox will see this and tell me what the tunnel deflector is before I blast all the stuff off the top of the roof of this tunnel. Yeah, well, we're just going to clean the roof of the tunnel and cover our entire train with crap. Do you reckon I can remember which lever it is? <laughs> That's all right. We'll be out of the out of the tunnel soon, anyway. The other thing I should have turned on is the cab lights. Good, I didn't. And that's okay. There aren't many tunnels. There's only hundreds of them. I can still get nitty head. Scratch my head on the tunnel wall. I've just turned Michael up a little bit. Yes, we are in fact in the dark. That's okay. Click on the lamp near the boiler pressure gauge. That one. Yay! Here's me madly pressing keys. Fireman's doing his thing. Look at that. Saw some saw the steam test happen there, or the gauge glass test. Doing a blowdown. This is a much longer tunnel than it looked. And I should probably start paying a little bit of attention to my speed, shouldn't I? Because we're going just a little bit quick. There we go. That'll start bringing it down. It's not much of an application, but it's an application. It's enough. Yeah, I see they're a bit lighter. That's kind of handy. Coming down to Trammel Loop, which is our first stopping point. At least it hasn't caught fire, fallen over and sunk into the swamp yet. That's a good thing. I'm just going to leave this brake application as it is, because it might be enough. It's always a good thing. <laughs> I 
it's always quite mesmerizing watching a double motion because sometimes they're in sync and sometimes they're not. No, Smokebox also says that uh, he found some actual UP test data from the 1940s that gave the exact stoking rate of the automatic stoker, so now it's 100% accurate. Does that mean I'm going to run out of steam any second? <laughs> Kinda suspect we might need to put a little bit more brake on. Let's try that much. Mm. You know, I think I'm gonna leave that. I think we'll just let that sit. I think that'll be about right. It's either going to be just right, or just not enough, one or the other. Isn't that funny, when I drink you get to look all around the cab. I have to remember I've got a head tracker on today. Now we're either about to blast through a red signal, or we're going to stop. Which is it? Which is it? We're going to stop. Excellent. I'm quite happy with that. Now, of course, we're going to have to back the train up, I imagine. Let's go up here. Got a caboose. Hello, little caboose. And its little red light. Ah, and I'm getting a higher stoking rate than I had before, so I'll be fine. Excellent. Now we've got to back up to Cumberland O2, which I... Sh is that ahead or behind? Show task. Okay, that's up there. And where are we? We're up there. Yeah, so we have to back up. Now, are the points set for us? So that's the question. We want to go to Cumberland 02. It looks like they are set for us because you can see the blue path here. And, of course, it's we're filling up and it's a dead-end track. Fantastic. Just what I want. Okay, let's go into full reverse. So far away, you can't hear the whistle. Isn't that funny? And back to running. Let's go back up the front so I can see what this steam loco is doing. It's a pretty long train if you can't hear the whistle. <laughs> Did I just accidentally trip the emergency brake pressing the e-stop button meaning to go for the whistle on the rail driver? Yes, I did. Some would say, bugger. <laughs> oh, well. Come on. Let's release it. Get back into running. Sometimes I wish that button wasn't next to the whistle. Uh, that's all right. It'll gradually come back. Well, at the moment, it's still dumping air. Why is it still dumping? What have I done wrong? Or do I just have to let it finish dumping and then I can release it? Alright, let's try and do a charge on that. Back into running. Hopefully that'll just keep filling up. Looks like it is. And I could leave it in release till it gets close. Eh, it's getting there anyway. She'll be right, mate. It's all good. Back we go. I'm going to start putting some uh, 
See, I got the whistle this time. I'm just going to start putting some steam in because if I don't, those brakes are going to come off and we're going to go the other way. Now we just wait for the brakes to release through the train. Could release the pressure a little bit. It's interesting how the throttle changes on the diesel when I open the cylinder cocks. Still waiting for the back to pump up, no doubt. I don't know if this train's quite that long. Could just try forcing the issue. More power. Could this thing out push the air brakes? That's the question. Let's give it a bit more. There we go. Now we're going to have to load, which means I have to keep going slowly, doesn't it? Need a little bit more, though. What about it? Northern Illinois trains and more? We're not in TSW2, we're in TSC today. What a lovely sky we have, and a nice distant blue on the mountains. Quite like that. I also like the nice smooth power lines. It's very quiet up this end of the train, isn't it? There's just nothing going on. We can hear crickets. Uh-oh, floating trees. Don't look, don't look. <laughs> this must be a, a uh, Act 1 of Macbeth happening or something. Someone should tell them we're in the forests of Virginia. Or is it West Virginia? West Virginia. I think it's West Virginia, Clinchfield, isn't it? Excuse my hiccups. Better go back up the front so we can actually hear this whistle. Because it's impressive. Mind you, I'm told by a... Uh, North American engineer that they actually don't sound the horn when they're backing up across the crossing in shunting moves. I like that there's a truck up there um Hopefully it's animated that dumps coal in. That would be cool. In the TSW2 version of this, they don't explain how all these little tipples... Come down to the fact that the horn can't be heard. Yes, that probably is it, Michael. The horn definitely can't be heard if you're a long way back. But uh, in, in TSW2 version of this, they don't really explain how these little tipples get filled up. Whereas this one's got a truck up there making it nice and obvious. In fact, there's a whole series of trucks that are going to load this train. And I'll be seriously impressed if that's automated and animated. I'm only going to be able to put one carriage under this, aren't I? One, maybe two. I wonder how fast I can go to load in uh, TSC. Never tried to load coal in this in TSC. You can go on wondering that, Mr. Northern Illinois.
You should ask yourself, do I deserve a key? I was actually hoping to have keys to give away today, to be honest, because um, we were told that we would have, but they've changed that now. They're going to give us the keys on the second, I believe. Ah, uh, more. More. Damn it. Uh, the independent's never going to stop it, is it? That's okay. Ah, it'll do. It's under it. It's not going to stop, though. Oh, more. There we go. You going to stop? Oh, I better go up the front and see what that's doing, to be honest. No, that's fine. That'll hold it. Except it's not. But it's loading anyway. It's all good. After you've filled the three hoppers, the next pip up is at Roaring Fork. You need to pass it in reverse like this one. There you will fill eight cars. Did that fill or did I move and disturb it? No, I've moved. How am I moving with that much brake on? It's probably because I was looking at the independent. Does that completely stop moving now? Yes, let's go back to loading. Back up the back here. We can watch our other freight train go by. Hello, Richie Peach. Richie Peach is saying he's not saying he deserves the key, but he's just paid £200 for a new car windscreen because something bricked it, so a free key would be a nice present. That's um, awful. Damn it. Uh, let's just deal with that before we have to leave. We'll just push our way through it. I overcharged it. I'm not pushing that hard. You're going uphill. Stop it. Can't you just see me running into the back of this? I have to fill three hopper cars here. Is that actually going to fit? Oh, yeah. And I'm moving again. Let's go up the front. All right. Now are you going to sit still? No, you're still... No, you're stopping. Good. Back up the back. Ah, too far. I'm looking so confident here. This is really good. Yep, and I put it back into first service. It's clever. Uh, rail driver. Now. Throttle off. Brakes on. This has gone too far, I think. I did something weird then. Unexpected. Now. Are we on the right place in the back there? No, but we're rolling forward, so it'll be all good. Now I think we're in the right place. Yes, we are. Uh, I'm looking forward to pushing this caboose through the buffers. One of our neighbours got their car window smashed recently. We all thought someone was just trying to break into their car, but it... Um, Seems they just smashed it. Now, this might seem like a weird thing to do. Let's give it some steam and release the brake. So I don't want to move very far. 
about there should be enough. So steam off, brakes on. Lots of brakes. Lots of brakes. All right, that should be enough. Whoop, there was a bang then. Did I hit the thing? <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, this is going well. You know what? I don't want to click there to exit. You know what I might just try and do? Let's just be a sneaky. Let's just leave you behind. Oh, I can't. Can I leave that behind? Operational error. Now, how many cars did I derail? Yeah, that one's off. Uncouple the caboose. Oh, I'm going to have to uncouple more than the caboose, I think. I don't think it'll let me now. I think the uh, scenario's decided I'm not allowed. You know what I think I did? I think I uncoupled the train at the other end. Did I? No, it doesn't look like it. I think I've royally confused it. Nah, I think I've totally broken it. Maybe shunting with a Challenger wasn't such a good idea. I think I've knocked two cars off. If I can uncouple these, we can keep going. Nah, won't let me. Won't let me. Bum. Hmm. That's problematic. Whee! So what do we do, chat? Do we do it again and hope I don't bugger it up a second time? See, with diesels, that would have been quite easy. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Yes, S-R-R-R-B. I buggered it up. You wonder if this thing can pull passenger cars? Yeah, it definitely can. Absolutely can. And Richie Peach says his windscreen wasn't completely scratched, but left a massive chip and a crack. I think we'll just have to start this again, don't won't we? Hmm. Burma. Ah, as Richie Peach says, he's been doubt to it again. Or as Yoda says, do or do not. There is no try. Yep, looks like it. I think my train brakes applied. Watch your three. Uh, I don't seem to have any. I'm going to go back to the main menu because I don't think restart actually worked because I don't have control. All right. Replay. Smokebox says, when you cut the throttle on the Challenger, open the cylinder cocks too, because that'll clear the steam chest quickly and stop the diesel from no pushing. Sounds. Ah, there we go. That's better. Control shift three. Seriously, it still remembers that I'm in coupling mode. Now we have to wait for that train, and we were moving too. Also interesting. Oh, well, now we have to wait for that train to come in anyway. We can go part of the way ahead, can't we? Because we have got a yellow signal here. It's not red. So we can go up to here. Might do that. Just to give us something to do while we wait. That feels a bit quick now. That overcharge. 
I'm just going to let it sit. That's true, I could do that, but that would be organized, wouldn't it? On head track, settle down. I need to get my pans on things. That one's already on, that's fine. Are we rolling backwards? We're rolling backwards. More power! Ah, yeah, your cylinder's warm enough. Off you go. Just come right off the power now, because I don't want to go too fast. I think what I might do this time, just to make this a little bit more sane, is I'll try and push the... Uh, caboose up to the back of the siding and then roll forwards to fill each car because if I mess that up it's not as disastrous we still haven't seen that other train come in yet so just got to be a little bit mindful that I don't go nicking off down the railway here's the other train F sevens. Three of them even. What is that signal? Nowhere near it. It's all good. Should go green any moment now anyway. And smoke, smoke box says the clamshell hood is control shift D. Let's practice. Yes. It even makes noises. I didn't realize it makes noises. Okay, we have a green. Let's jump in here and release the brakes. Get some power on. Am I still in release? I am. Oops, a bit fuller. further forward on the Versa might be handy. Just occurred to me if I'd been smart, I would have put the diesel in the front. the Challenger would have obeyed the diesel's controls then. <laughs> yeah, being naughty again. Seems to be what I do. Don't want to pull that snake through all those points too hard. Just knock them over. me concentrate on screenshots instead of driving that would never happen it's 
Sounds good, doesn't it? Mind you, what I'm actually trying to do with this thing would never have really happened on the road. No one would shunt with a challenger. No one in their right mind, anyway. So what I'm doing is ve whoops, very unrealistic. Now we're allowed up to 25 now. Very good. My head tracking stopped working. It has. I'm just getting back to SRRRB's question. Um, you could create a scenario with this thing pulling passenger cars in TSC fairly easily. There's rather a lot to choose from. The trees are very nice on this route. The ones that are in the ground anyway. Little 70s muscle car there. That's a terribly placed signal. Imagine coming around that corner and discovering it was red. I wonder if TSC would cope if I um, uncoupled the Challenger at the mine and use the diesel to push the cars up. Oh, now my head track is working again. Weird. Does it turn on the high beam by itself when you come into tunnels, smoke box? This would be a great job, wouldn't it? Choking smoke in the tunnel. It's not only uh, carcinogenic, it's hot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure what TSC would do if I did that. Mm, that cool. So the headlight does come on by itself for tunnels. That's good. Let me just quietly sit in here and wait. Plenty of steam pressure. Get nice clean steam on it up there. So it's not many days to go until the other one comes out. Let's see our fireman doing gauge blowdowns again. And me going too fast again. Because I'm watching what's happening with gauge blowdowns going, isn't that cool? And then I look at my speed and go, uh-oh. Yeah, cool. So smoke box says the beam comes on, the one that casts light ahead and onto the ground and objects. Very cool. SRRB says, ah yes, my favourite, the smell of CO2 in the morning. 
It's always good, isn't it? I wonder if one diesel could even push that consist. Hmm. Almost out of the tunnel now. I can see the end of it. So what do we got? For me, it's Sunday. For a lot of you, it's Saturday. Saturday night. So we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Is it Friday it comes out? I can't remember. How many days has this month got? Ah, so it'll be Friday it comes out. Friday for me, anyway. Thursday for everybody else. I think we're stopping a bit too quickly, really. First service and running seem to be very close together now on the rail driver. Come on, gravity, do your thing. The magic of gravity and compressed air working together. Because I don't think that will have got us past... No, that's not far enough. Need to go lots further. That's okay, gravity's starting to do its thing now. I have set up a stream for the uh, earliest that I'm allowed to show it, which is 7pm on the 2nd for me, which will be 10am in Britain. Not sure what it is in America, in any of your time zones, and uh, Canada, of course. This service doesn't move the gauge much, smoke box, if, in, if at all. That should be enough, I think. Maybe. Maybe it wants a little bit more. Mm. It's hard to tell coming down, but is it coming down quick enough? I've probably still got the clamshell shut too, haven't I? I do. I think we might want to give it just a touch more brakes. That's it. That's nice. That's going to stop pretty much just in the right spot. Nice. If only I could do that going the other way. We are far enough. It's already set the points back up to there. Yes. You know what? I'm going to try it. Because I'm going to try my theory of um, pushing back. Let's give it not as much power on the reverser as well. Yeah, 
Alright, and here we are ready to push back. Okay, first service does the first six to eight pounds at normal rate, but takes two minutes to a fall of a total of 20 pounds. Mm. By modern standards, that's a bit slow, but uh, quite probably right for a beast of this age. Uh, that's pushing a bit hard. I don't want to push that hard. All right, brakes off. We are in running, good. Just be patient. There we go. Oh, I did save. Save is done. Let's not use the rail driver for manipulating air throttle now. Not enough. I think the other thing that was doing me in was uh, using the rail driver, to be honest. So I'm going to use my keyboard on the throttle. Smokebox recommends doing all shunting and switching moves with the cylinder cocks open. That would give you a lot less power, wouldn't it? Let's try that. Yeah, it's definitely slowing us down. So I need a lot more power, and I'm going to need more on the reverser. There we go, now we're starting to move again. Let's give that a try. Let's see what happens. We're slowing down again. More power. More reverser. Tick, 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 tick. What I really need is some nice suspenseful music. Can he do it? Will he not stuff it up this time? Will he pay attention instead of looking at the trucks, wondering if they're going to animate or not? And I apologise for going so slowly, but after last time, I kind of think it's fair. I just realised that nodding was more like a German techno head. That's what we need, some German techno. It's a pity about copyright strikes. I don't know about you, but when I'm driving trains, I do like listening to music, and I miss it when I can't hear it. If I go down here, we'll be able to hear the wheels at least. Oh, well, maybe not. I was hopeful there. Oh, there we go. Joint sounds. You know, I reckon I might save it here, too. I 
At least this way I'm already moving backwards when I come back in. Hello, Crazy Dash. Welcome. How are you? You may be amused, Smokebox, to know that your recommendation of doing the shunting and switching moves with Cylindercox open was in fact blocked by YouTube. YouTube seems to have forgotten that a cock is also a tap, a valve, and a rooster. It doesn't have to be rude. good to hear you've been great. How's your orientation going? It's a big time. You know, I wonder, could I hold this here on steam pressure alone when we get there and not actually use the brakes at all? Hmm. That's an interesting thought. Yes, yeah, cylinder roosters. Exactly. I imagine aircraft must have to have rooster pits. I do have to admit that the uh, the old bloke named Mr. Crotty, who originally taught me the art of boilers, was uh, very fond of saying, make sure you pull your cock. It made his day. This was the funniest thing in this man's life. It doesn't quite imply in this one because the valves are round, but in ours they're a um, just a lever valve. And his other favourite saying was, "Make sure all your cocks are down to avoid a cock up," because that meant all the valves on your sight glasses were open, like they're meant to be. We can probably do one after this stream if you want. Testing my theory, can I hold it on Steam? Probably not. I know I went a bit hard on the brakes then. But it's okay. Don't even need to go full forwards on the reverser. After you've filled the three hoppers, the next pickup is at Roaring Fork. You need to pass it and reverse, like this one. There you will fill eight cars. Now, excuse me if I'm mighty paranoid. Breaks off. Now I just let gravity do its thing. Because it won't be long till gravity does its thing. Brakes on. Ah, more. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Maybe you can't do it. 
Oh well. We'll get that car filled anyway. I'm going to have to back up again. Yoo-hoo. That's all falling on the ground, isn't it? Between the cars. Well, maybe it's just making it in there. <laughs> Bad driver. Uh, back into reverse, but I'm not going to give it all the reverse because I don't want to give it so much power. How much longer do I think I'll stream? This could take a while. I thought this would be over pretty quickly, but I was wrong. And that old space shuttle joke. Go for throttle up, Challenger. Oops. <laughs> Now we wait, patiently. Yep, they're releasing, and it's pushing. Wait. Wait, shit, where am I? Right, we're rolling the other way. That's okay. More steam. Sooner or later, it's going to be enough steam. And then it's going to be too much steam. Well, it's holding its own. More steam. I have only got the reverser at um, 40%. What time zone are you, crazy? I think I have to give it a little bit more reverse or it's not going to move. Brakes are in theory released. More steam. It's probably sitting down there just churning its wheels. Hello NJT, welcome back. If someone wants to do a look up between uh, 10 p.m. PST to AEST, I don't think I want to do it right this second. So what do you reckon the wheels are just spinning down the front? Let's go have a look. No, they're not. Let's give it a bit more reverser. Oh, that's making it move. Bit more reverser. There we go. We have movement. I don't need much movement. Uh, is this as exciting as watching paint dry? It's suspenseful, I'll give it that. It's quite um, nerve wracking. Man, how fast did you run the Challenger today? 0 0.2 miles per hour, officer. It's all right. 0.2 is probably pretty good. Because we're almost under it. We can't put the brakes on in a moment. I think we're pretty close now. I want to be a little bit more because it'll probably roll forward when I put the brakes on. Yeah, let's go down the front and brake while it's powering. Flat. Let's let that apply and then throttle off. And hopefully it won't roll. And we can load. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Cylinder roosters to the rescue. 
All hail the Cylinder Roosters. That's almost dumb enough that someone like Jeremy Clarkson would say it. Not saying the man's the epitome of dumb or anything, but he is. Alright, brakes back to running. And might want some forward gear. Oops. Must remember not to look at rail drive when I've... I don't need that much forward gear, actually, because we're just going to roll. It's fine. We'll just roll forwards. There we go. We now have the answer. Can the diesel push the uh, Challenger? Yes, it can, because it is. And JTE says, beautiful coal. In the loco, I hope. And Brad MacArthur says, in Australia, they could be cylinder male chooks. Well, they could, but we still call them roosters too. Mind you, we have uh, different names because a cocky is both a, uh, a bird called a cockatoo and a farmer. They're called cockies as well. And it's not the slightest bit unusual for uh, males of country areas to greet each other with, how are you going, old cock? And of course, they mean rooster. NJT says Stepford County Railway released 1.10 today. Airport update, new extension, plus absurdly priced new train. Yep. SCR was on YouTube Gaming. I saw the other day. You know you've made it when you're on YouTube Gaming. You know, I'm surprised we're not rolling faster. I really am. I hope I have some brakes on. We do have some brakes on. They're not quite released. There we go. That'll do it. Off we go to Roaring Fork. Let's just check these points up here. Just to make sure. Yep, they're fine. All good. Have you noticed, Michael, the uh, whatever the generation after millennials is trying to talk me into getting into SCR in their subtle way? Hey, it's so good now. Do I remember rightly that SCR is Roblox? I think it's Roblox. I am speeding a little because we took so much time doing that switching. I'm just going to go a little bit faster to get where we're going. Hey, you know what I should do? I should save so we don't have to go back and do that again. Got a bit of a curve coming up, so I will put some brakes on. Keep it under 40, I think. It's probably a good idea. Green signal up ahead. Hello, JO1212. You think you've been here before? Ah, Brad. You're naughty. Yes, it is nice having a save feature that works. For things like this, yes it is.
<laughs> it's almost tunnel time again. I was hoping to see the light come on and I got kicked out of the tunnel. Oh well. <laughs> Never mind. Best laid plans. I think there's a road here. Better whistle. Someone's ringing the Michael. When you say everyone was shocked in JTE, everyone, everyone, really, everyone, just keep this brake application on as we've got a uh, slower patch coming up. We are gradually getting down to this much lower speed that we're supposed to do. Probably not gradually enough, or a little too gradually, maybe. Give it a bit more. Yeah, tech support. Well, that's your life, Michael. That's where your fun comes from. like my job. I do my job so that I can play trains. Yeah, but I don't get paid for it, so... <laughs> That's no good. You need to get paid. This is going to stop too early, isn't it? I just noticed it got brighter outside, so I've just checked my solar system and it's finally making enough energy to actually run my heating. <laughs> uh, do I have the K4J 1212? No, I do not. Is this going to stop just in time or is it going to stop too early? I think it's going to stop too early. I think I shall have to release the brakes. You know it would be awesome, Smokebox? An option to get rid of the release position. I don't think that has completely released, has it? No, oh, don't go into first service. Come on, no. Sit in running. There we go. Come on, giant princess, roll along. Actually, there's a question. Is it universal across railroads? On our railway, the steam engines are she and the diesels are he. Is that universal? Good. Branches and the power lines. Bushfire waiting to happen. Mind you, in West Virginia, it's so wet, it probably wouldn't matter if a branch zapped itself on the power lines. <laughs> Smokebox thought about that, but we just spoiled the fun. Uh, the um, release and running positions are really, really close together if you're using Rail Driver, whereas lap and service are a long way apart. It would be hard to um, actually manage that, though, unless you let people configure it based on their own Rail Driver, which there's probably only a very small percentage of players have even got one. Just 
rolling our way down into Roaring Fork. Yeah, that makes sense. Smokebox says in Spanish it's Loca Matora, so it's feminine. That's one of the cool things about the Spanish language is that it does have male and female objects. It's just, it's really interesting how the different cultures do that. Let's try the first service out. Clanky, clanky. So how far have we really got to go to get to this place? Of course the distances are a little bit deceptive. Quite a ways. How's that first service going with application? Not much. Put some real brakes on. That should be heaps. 10 pounds should control our speed. Brad says I should do a poll to see how many of you viewers have a rail driver. You don't, but you would like one if you could get one. They are nice creatures. I think mine, mine's 20... Two, maybe 23 years old I got it when it came out is when I got it so I think it released only a few months after Microsoft Train Simulator from memory and that was 2001 Michael Newbury has a rail driver. I didn't actually know you did. How do I tell if it's cut in or out? One of these ones? First service position cock. Out. Oh, huh? so it was in. He who is easily distracted goes, ooh, picnic tables. How about that? Now, is that for rail fans or is that for people who play in the river? There's a question. Overcharged. I'm going to ignore you and your overcharged challenger. And sooner or later, that will be my undoing. Now, seeing that uh, bright yellow reflection of the nice dawn sky does remind me, now that we've actually seen some snapshots of uh, TSW3's sky around the place, I can tell you, you're going to enjoy your first sunrise and sunset in the game. Couldn't tell you that before, but now I can because there's been screenshots revealed. When you get the new game, you may well freak out at the lighting. Give it a chance. I know I freaked out at it when I first got it. And it, uh, it grows on you. We'll have to watch the handle on the next first service application smoke box and we'll see what happens. Tunnel. Oh, I've still got the thing closed. Not that I'm producing much smoke at the moment because I'm just coasting along downhill. Mm. 
Here's a question for you, Smokebox, in your research for reference for Clinchfield, did these things actually pull the, uh, the trains that ran from mine to mine, or did they do full-length runs pulling things like the uh, Pacific Fruit Express and the like? We should see at some point the uh, distance to the Roaring Fork actually come down. Roaring Fork kind of reminds me of Roaring Camp. When I lived in California, I was very happy to discover the Roaring Camp Railway. Or railroad, sorry, wasn't actually far from me. Used to go down there and play sometimes. Didn't go through Roaring Fork or something stupid, did I? Show task. Did we go straight through it? We did, didn't we? Ah, uh, sigh. Oh well, we're about to complete this scenario, only having picked up some of our stuff. We went straight through it. Just saying, I'm not going back. We're going to pretend I did it. NJT is going to buy himself like some. NJT is going to buy himself some planes for Microsoft Flight Simulator for his birthday. I find when I've played Flight Simulator that if I play a small plane. I don't mind it at all. Let's just have a look in the cab. Yeah, it's in the right detent. And when I go from lap to first service, it does it. But when I go from running to first service, it doesn't seem to apply. Oh, well. Um, but as I was saying, when I, when I fly little planes, I quite enjoy it. When I fly great big planes like a 747 or a 380 or whatever on a big long haul run, I find it nearly as exciting as driving the TJV in Train Sim World. I really have to say that. Not first service, running. Running. No, not release. Running. Yay. Power. pushing steam out everywhere. I'll let those blocks warm up again. Um, the I've been doing much, much driving in uh, a certain German route. And that one seems to manage to hold my interest. Despite half of it being underground. If I thought I could trust Clinchfield's signalling system, I would push back. But I don't think I can trust it. So we'll just come down here with our train mostly empty and go, don't know what you're talking about, mate. No clue. Oh, I was meant to fill up the other ones as well, was I?
I went and flew on a uh, transport flight once from Oakland International Airport to San Francisco International Airport. Didn't even pull the wheels up. Took off, turned left, flew down near the bottom of the bay, turned right, landed at San Francisco. I think we're in the air about five, maybe six minutes tops. Out of memory. Barker. While we're here, I'm going to turn off the head tracking thing. Well, it just crashed. Yay! Now you can watch me do this because I don't want to lose them. Upload. Yeah, upload it. Come on, hurry up. Oh, I know why you're so slow. It's because I'm pushing out about 20 meg per minute. Cool. The other one doesn't matter. The other one doesn't look nice. In we go again. Now we can play the other one. Life. See, that is the problem with... Uh, hacking a scenario and then not playing it through. Sometimes they explode. Oh, why not just do it the easy way? Challenger Efficient Haulage Part 2. Yay! I'll do what I'm told this time. This time I think we're just dragging the same train back up the hill full, so... Should be good. Welcome back, Engineer. We're just waiting to meet the southbound train here before we can continue. Your briefing has details on your next pickups. Oh no, we've got more pickups to do. So we've got some train brake on. Let's just sit here. What does our train look like now? Is it actually full? No. Uh, even the eight, ca eight cars we were supposed to fill up full? Yeah, so here, here's all the cars that we should have filled up. We magically have now. Look at that. Perfect. Good job. Just like I bought one. So where's our other train? We're sitting there. Where's this southbound? Oh, there he is. Trundling along. Oh, he's a big one. He's a very big one. And we're going to go to Steinman Loader and then Colco Loader. And then Elkhorn South through Track 1. You are a slow little unit, aren't you? Let's go find him. Here he is. Beam on. Car frightener enabled. Let's open up the cox as well and just change cab position so I can see those switches since I've turned off my head tracker because it even started to annoy me. And let's turn on those. Back in the chair instead of sitting on the floor.
Might help if I turned it on, eh? There we go. Here comes our little friend with his incredibly high speed train service. Oh, you know what we haven't been doing? Shall we play a game? Ah. So, our little quiz. Each time it opens during the stream, a block will be removed. Players get five seconds to try and answer the question. Bonus 10 points if you get the route and the station this time. So let's wait for the first one and then I will go back. There we go. There's the first one. Does anybody have any early guesses? It's very helpful, Michael. It's a beautiful blue sky and some caternary. Yes, NJTEC. Electrification. It's very helpful. Doesn't mean it's an electric train, but it's electrification. I'll give you that. Some nice overhead line equipment. It's a train in a simulator. Pulse it tells us it's overhead wires. That's it. The headlight's in the dim position still, is it? Really? No, that was on. It is lighting up the signal then. The signal post. while we're waiting for our friend to come out of here. It's almost finished. Crazy Dash is guesting the DBBR 101. So we'll have to see. Brad says somewhere on the Northeast Corridor. Mm, interesting idea. Northern Illinois trains and more. No, it's not rail route. Rail route doesn't look like that. Ah, our signal has changed. I already opened a cox before, so let's go full forward on there. Let's jump back in so I can see what brakes are doing. Oh, in here the thing's on dim. I need to go one more. Or come back one, do I? Ah, oh, now I see. Look at it. Light up the trees. See, that smoke box sitting there going, This guy's an idiot. <laughs> All right, let's get some power on and get our brakes off. Yes, I know, brake pipe overcharged. You know what? I'm just going to close that and ignore it. Or I might have to obey it this time because I might have finally stuffed it up. Yep, all right. I couldn't actually get it into emergency with the rail driver. <laughs> hey, at least now I can... That's funny that it goes... That's just weird. The rail driver is really doing something weird. Alright. Ah, oh, that signal's okay. That's actually for the other track, J O one twelve, J O twelve twelve. Sorry. All right. 
The rail driver's gotten itself into a bit of a mess. So let's make the train match it. Oops, running. No, running. Running. Okay, now we're going to be good. It's charging up. It's charging up. And it's releasing. Yes. This time for sure, are we? Now the rail driver and the train think they're in the same notches. <laughs> Wait for those big cylinder blocks to warm up as the steam pisses out of the cylinder roosters. It's probably enough. And off we go. Don't want to give it too much power, we're in a bit of a slow zone. Just to put uh, JO1212's mind at ease, see how that uh, dwarf is now red? That was the one that we used to authorise our movement when it was green before. This signal actually applies to this track. Because Clinchfield's weird. Let's close up the clamshell again. Reduce the exhaust a little bit coming through the tunnel. Just let our speed cruise us through. Well, of course they're Clinchfield dwarf signals. It's Clinchfield. Of course, these days you probably have to call them something like little fi little signals, because just like you can't call a cock a cock, you have to call uh, you know, no dwarfs anymore. They're little signals. I'm guessing it was sunset before, not sunrise. Now here's something else I'm going to poke, poke fun at. See this? Flashing lights. Do the crossings in TSW have flashing lights? Seven miles to Steinman. And our gradual gradient downhill here.
the difference between steam people and diesel people. Steam people say hello to rail fans, even if they're standing on the track. Smokebox suggests vertically challenged signals. I know a little person, and if I called her vertically challenged, she would punch me in the rooster. She's a bit violent. Northern Illinois Trains and More asks, have you heard of the Wisconsin and Southern Railroad? It's the largest short line with 837 miles of track in Wisconsin and Northern Illinois under contracts and trackage rights with Metra. No, I haven't heard of it. Oh, this track really wasn't made for challenges, was it? The irony is it was. Hmm. You get some pretty heavy wear going on through those curves with that kind of squealing. Needs a flange greaser. Welcome to Fremont, California. No wrong state. And Fremont, California doesn't look like this. There's nothing green in Fremont. It's the home of dry brown stuff. JR1212 says LNER had names such as Woodcock. Well, yes, Woodcock is a bird, though. It's the legitimate name of a bird. And you can start getting into interesting place names. In Australia, we have Bald Knob and Iron Knob. Oh well. I believe there's a place called Wibble Wobble somewhere in the world too. The to town of Rowan Atkinson. Five miles to Steinman Motor, and perhaps we'll actually get there. It's interesting that this part of the scenario is seen as easier than the other part, but this part has to be done in the dark. They must be pull through loaders or something. So what you're saying, Eliza, is that the railroad owns a whole lot of clapped out locomotives from old railroads that got rid of them. So you like E-Bells, but you don't like electric locomotives. And I know what Metro is doing causes you physical pain in converting their F40s to be electric only, running with batteries. I wonder what will happen to that railroad when the... Uh new class restrictions on emissions are forced on class 2 railroads.
maybe they'll put great big stereo systems and speakers in them so when they go past you, instead of just going, they'll go, whoop, 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 just to make you happy. I did see a video once of someone who took an electric Range Rover in the UK and implanted the sounds of a V8 and play it on external speakers. I thought that was vaguely funny. Just losing up our little shield over the top of a smokestack. And I was going to power up again because we're slowing down, but I won't because we're going into a tunnel. Jo 12 cell says, even so, you can't convince him that the, or him or her, I should say, I don't know, the LN and ER workers didn't have some nasty thoughts about certain people when they did the names. That is entirely possible. Who knows? This lighting in the dark's quite nice. We do run the occasional night train for reels, and I have to say being out in the forest at the night time is uh, quite nice. And most of my track inspections are done in the dark. Next tunnel, please. And Eliza tells us about some more trains that use the uh, subdivision. It's clever what you did with the uh, smoke deflection smoke box. It works very nicely. J1212 says so it, was, it was a Louisiana Eastern Railroad in the late 50s, and the railroad used steam engines. Yeah, the uh, variety of railroads with lots and lots of small ones, unfortunately, has left us. This is a bridge, isn't it? It is a bridge. And there's another, another tunnel coming, so I'll just leave the deflector. Oh, it's a pile of barrels. Okay. No, I'm watching this would be silly enough to go in a tunnel, would they? Because remember, often you'll see the light at the end of a tunnel, but it might be a train. And they unfortunately hurt. Little caboose is only just going through the the first one. The lighting on the town is nice there. As they get to enjoy the spooky sounds of the challenger's whistle. Clear of tunnels for a while, so I'll get rid of the deflector. Now 
Now I can power up a little bit again so I won't gas myself in the tunnel. J1212 says that rail road was planned to be a bypass route around New Orleans and that used steam engines. Let's wake everyone up in town. Just because we can. Everyone lights go on and go, bloody train. Now that's a job. Back in a dump truck up a ramp. So how are people liking the uh, smoke effects? I think they're quite cool. Does any of that railroad still exist? JO 1212? Did it end up in a collection somewhere? Almost there. I should probably start slowing down, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate, J O 1212. The engines got scrapped. Just realise we're here. And I'm sailing straight through it. In a tunnel. <coughs> Is it going to come out of the tunnel? Curved tunnel. Whoop, threw me out. So now I need to go back the other way and find this bloody loader, which is between the tunnels, isn't it? 
Wish it was daylight. Can't even mind the track. Is this the track? And this is a road and a river. Is that the track? No, that's another road. Where is the track? Where's the loader? I wonder how many cars we're picking up here. <laughs> All right, so the train's not very far away. Brakes have released. That'll help get us moving. Uh, might have to go more reversa. There we go. I wonder how many cars we're picking up here at Steinman. Doesn't really say, I don't think. Pick up bulk freight. There's two more pieces. Fill 13 cars at Steinman and at last 13 at Col last 11 at Colco. Can I get outside yet? No. Oops. What did I just move? Come on, let me outside. All right, there we go. No, the rail driver's just gotten totally confused now. That's okay. We'll just do that thing that they'd never do in a steam engine. Break pipe overcharge my ass. Yes. And we have to give up on the rail, rail driver brake handle, I think. It's totally confused. Just use the steam engine to go the other way. Go on, off you go. Does it think the brake? Oh, it does think the brakes are applied. I am. It's going to have to blow the air, aren't I? All right then.
trying to do this with the keyboard now instead of the uh, rail driver because it's just gotten hopelessly confused at the moment. Hey, just out of curiosity, did I turn the detents off? No, I did not turn the detents off. That's why it got hopelessly confused. Right. All right, now we should be able to move. And I can probably use the rail driver again too, because the detents are off now. And I don't want to go too far, and I want to stay here at the loader. Come on, you mighty beasts. Pull. I wonder if the independent will be enough to stop it. Let's see if the independent's enough. No, quick application. Just stay on quick application. Looks promising. Will it stop? Yes. Will it stay stopped? Dunno. I'm not actually doing that thing with all the messages, by the way. That's just... I need to pull apart my rail driver because I think the spring that pulls the independent lever one way has become stretched so the other one pulls it back which you know with an independent brake yeah it doesn't really matter that much but it's kind of annoying on German trains because that's the VSOL lever for AFB off you go little train Enjoy being in the tunnel, getting smoked while we load cars. What an awful job. It'd be terrible. I'm glad the railway I work on has no tunnels. It's bad enough being in the shed. If the crew the night before positioned your loco under the... Um, under the stack in the roof then it's okay because most of your smoke goes out through that but if they were a bit off which they occasionally are and you get to enjoy all your smoke Yeah, load them up. And stop loading again. It's hard to tell in the dark. Anybody got a, a torch? You'd think this thing would have a light on it, wouldn't it? So the tr crew could see it. There's a light over there, but you'd think they'd put a light here. Uh, it's done. Should sit more over here. We're rolling again. Game hasn't noticed though. It's alright. As long as it keeps loading, I'll be happy. I'm 
The second series of big boys had pipes running from under the cab up into the cab itself, one for each crew member. It doesn't surprise me, really. Did that actually fill? Does, does it look full? It's hard to tell. Black coal in the dark. Who'd know? Is the cat in the box alive? It'd be a challenging life, that's for sure. So unfortunately in TSC you actually you actually have to stop to get loading to happen. That is one thing I like about TSWs, you can just keep rolling. I don't think TSC will do that. No. And Smokebox says that the second series of big boys had pipes to give the crew clean air from under the cab. And they were meant to give the crew breathing air when they're in long tunnels. And they'd lift the lid on the pipe to get air. That sounds less than exciting. I guess the loader just checks that it's zero miles an hour. So even though it's slightly moving, it doesn't seem to worry it. This is fairly realistic though, because I'm stopping on the independent, which means the loco stops. And the cars are just free to bunch back and forth on their springs. What have we done? We've done one, two, three, four. We have to do seven more. And that's either going to be too soon or just in the right spot. We'll see. Yeah, you got the reference, Brad. Well done. And while we're loading, speaking of references, shall we play a game? A while. Now you can't see that my train's rolling back and loading stopped again. There you go. Gave you two. That's enough. What do you reckon? Any guesses? You got a headlight now. That should help. Ah, Northern Illinois Trends and more. Yes, it is a TGV. So we had three clues go away. That means you get 70 points. Let me just write that down. Now, for 10 bonus points, anybody can answer these. What is the route and what is the station? And no, the route is not the LGV Mediterranean. Train is, route's not. Well, Mediterranean's actually wrong because it's not. It's Mediterranean. The route is not LGV. That stopped loading again, didn't it?
<laughs> Actually, you didn't smell it correctly. <laughs> but no, it's not that root anyway. It's a different root. No, it's not Marseille. How many cars have we done? Is anybody counting? So I'll say it. one, two. It's getting harder to stop them. count actually <clears throat> and I'm finding it harder to see whether I'm actually uh, colleague or not because of course it's getting brighter here and it shut it stops coaling periodically like now there we go it's going again I could turn my monitor brighten brightness up I suppose it looks like from the stream you guys can't see that much either let me uh get my intensity that one do it no that one's not going to do it is it there we go reduce the contrast a bit that'll help and sunlight intensity isn't really going to help much at all but at least we can see what's going on now it doesn't look very nice but we can see it no, it's not Avignon as either. And we've done... <laughs> excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> four to go. As soon as I get this stopped, I'll uh, reveal another grid. And it's not a trick question either. As soon as it actually does stop, I can load again. All right, let's go off and have a look at another grid, shall, shall we? Shall we play a game? That's helpful, isn't it? How good is that? Any new guesses? You've seen the roof now, so you know the roof's grey. That's a good sign, isn't it? Your face disappeared. <clears throat> My face disappeared? Oh, I'm on the wrong one. There we go. I was on the wrong scene. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now I've got to go and find the track in the dark. Oh, this is going to suck. Yeah, let me go to the other end. I can't go to the other end. Yeah, but now I'm lost. Is that it down there? Yay! I found it!
And it's not the Reading and Northing JO1212. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more car to go after this one. Because so I think we're picking up 11 here, I think it said. Oh no, 13 cars at Steinman. So that was just 10, so we've got three cars to go. Mind you, it should... Actually, it thinks I've finished anyway. Look, pick up bulk freight from Steinman Loader. So it thinks I've got them all. But yeah, we'll do the right thing. No, it's not A in Provence, no. Ooh, look at those cars. They don't like being rocked around like this. Hey, that one's full. What's going on here? That one's almost full. Don't know who's using the rattle gun consistently. When I get stopped again, I will uh, reveal another square. So that was number 11, which would make this number 12. We switch back to our quiz. We'll Shall we play square. a game? There you go. That's really helpful. It's nice flowers. Someone walking. That's helpful, isn't it? Come on, you finish loading. It stops loading when I switch away from the game. Here's me thinking I'm filling in time by revealing squares, but no, I'm not. So this one's car number 12. One more to do. It is not Island Line 2022, no. That does have a lot of flowers, but no, it's not that one. Last car for this loader. Yay! Finally! Yay! It is not the Glasgow Circle Line. Not even the right country. As the train rolls back and I hope it fully loads the car. Is the train out of the tunnel yet? No, it's not. It's getting to the point that the loco brake can't hold it anymore. Oh, and finally, that's it. Pretty sure that's 13 cars. And the thing thinks we've ticked off the task anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're now going to Colco. It is not the Isle of Wight. Ah, well done, Michael Newberry. Well done, sir. Ten points for you. And for the last ten points, can anyone guess the station?
I'm just going to close my curtains. Just needed to block some light. Why can't we still hear that tr sound of the uh, thing? No, it's not pancreas. Shall we reveal another grid? Why not? Shall we play a game? That's helpful, isn't it? <laughs> hey, question. Does it say, do you want to play a game every time I switch to it? Or does it only do that at the start? Ooh, I know why we're not speeding up. Because I'm a Wally. There we go. Illinois reckons it's a German route. I reckon we'll just leave that hanging in the air. Hit like a fart on a still day. As we cruise off to Coal Co. The, the incredibly imaginatively named Coal Co. What are we going to call our company? Well, we do coal. How about Coal Co? Back in my heady days of university, we had to design a programming language for an assignment. Mine was called Cole. And I deliberately designed it to be totally obtuse that once you'd written the code, it was very, very hard to figure out what it was actually supposed to do if you looked at it. And that's because I didn't like the lecturer and I wanted to make him work for his money. And the irony of that is a few years later in uh, industry, I actually ended up working with him. And I suppose the other irony of those days, which uh, Crazy Dash is starting out in his university journey now, is that uh, the subject that I most hated at university and actually failed three times ended up being my career. Go figure. Drifting on downgrade, coming up to another tunnel. Yay, tunnels. We're all going to love tunnels. See, this is something else that if I'd actually played this scenario through after I created it, rather than uh, spending my time building tutorials for a product that comes out at the end of the week, um, I probably would have noticed it was in the dark and I would have changed the start time. Because, you know, dark streams kind of suck. Just a bit. Well, we've already got the route. The route is the new southeastern high speed for Train Sim World 3. Michael answered that correctly. What we're looking for now is what station are we at? 
just close the little clamshell lid on the, the funnels. Let's hop back into the cab. One point three seven miles to Colco. What are we loading at Colco? We're going to load the last 11 cars. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to load one car so it thinks that we've done it. And then we're going to bugger off. Because watching me load cars in the dark, every time I do it, I watch the graph of viewers go. Boop, 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 boop. So we're going to load one. And then we're going to drive. Hmm. It's alright, we'll just do it this way. Ashford International Airport and a further 10 points for Mr. Newberry. You've been frantically Googling for the picture, haven't you, Michael? <laughs> we shall leave this thing slowing down on its way into Colco and... Shall we play a game? Let's let the rest of that quiz play out. <laughs> well done. Yes, it does for you to read the articles or watch my videos where I go through and I read it all out to you. You don't even have to read it. You can be the person that just listens if you want. Yeah, well done. There we go. Ashford International. I'll tell you what. For some bonus points... I'll make this worthwhile. I'll make this worth 50 and no looking in the article. Why aren't they allowed to open the doors on that platform? And I'm talking about the train at the bottom, the one that's in a platform. Now the, uh, the 395, the Javelin running its service is allowed to stop there, but the TV, TGV running its service through there is not. Why would that be the case? Because of international rules. Ah, excellent, Mr. Newberry. Yes, it's technically in, well, not technically, it is in fact in England, and the train started in France and goes back to France. Does not stop there. I wonder what that makes the leaderboard look like. Says he trying to get it up without uh, revealing anything else. Where's my spreadsheet on the points? Where is it? Just pop these in and we'll see what the leaderboard looks like. There it is. So today, on the 28th, did we not do a quiz last week? I better figure out, I'm sure we did, so I better figure out who, who uh, won it. <laughs> ah, so... 
Eliza gets 70 and Michael gets 60. Oops, if I had the numlock key on. You guys can't see what I'm doing, can you? He gets 70. I'll have to look up who won it last week. That means I can't tell you who's on top of the leaderboard right now because I didn't put in last week's points. I'll have them here written on a post-it note somewhere. But anyway, back to Colco, which is where we should be. And where's the loader? Ah, it's too bloody dark. Has it ticked off the task yet because I stopped? Actually, <laughs> nah. shouldn't it be 70 because I've got the route, the station? Did I say it was worth 50, did I? Okay, 70 for you. Deal. Ah, brake pipe overcharged you, Wally. Pull through it. More power. Come on, the brakes are only applied 10 pounds. Surely you can pull through that. It's bringing itself back down anyway. Which suggests it has an M3 bleed valve. All right, let's go for a release. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's do what you want then. Let it drop down to 70 and I'll release. Back into running. And that'll pump it up. And while it's doing its thing, all right, more reversa. Just hope I don't get a wheel spin doing this. The uh, points put you on the leaderboard. Come on, little train. I don't want to give you more power. You should have released the brakes by now. <laughs> no, they're applied. There we go. Of course, we've got to wait for it to pump the train up, but sooner or later we'll move. I haven't really decided what the leaderboard means yet. Potentially the leaderboard could mean a key, maybe, if that person hasn't already got a key. Go on, I heard you chuff, but I haven't seen anything move yet. But it clearly is. Yay! We'll just get to the loader, we'll load one car, and then we will drive. where the bloke in the uh, diesel's been sitting in notch 8 going, ah, I can't make this clunker move. Almost at the loader, but we've got to pull 13 cars through it before we can load one.
There's our loader. This is going to be even darker, isn't it? So if we pull about half the train through it, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, it's about about a third of the way through the train. We should get to an empty car. Not that I'll be able to tell. Is that an empty car? No. <laughs> it's so hard to tell. It's crazy. It's a good thing we're only going to fill up one, isn't it? I wonder if the game's smart enough that if I just fill up a full car, it'll tick it off. Probably would. Let's try. Should stop it. Yep, yeah, that's going to stop it. See you, boys. So here's the train. So if I just follow back along the train that I can barely see, we should get back to the loader. Which is there, I think. And go... T. No, I have a horrible suspicion it's smarter than me. Oh no, it's still moving, that's why. I'll just wait for it to actually stop. Even though it says zero. You can clearly see a carriage moving there. I'll get stopped now. But still not loading. Ah, you know what, care factor. Let's go. Running. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to try and find an empty car that's black in the night that's black. And away we go. Oh, I can't see anything either. I clearly still have some brakes applied though, because at 88% power, going downhill, I would be expecting to accelerate just a little more than this, so I think I've done something nasty to the brakes in the train somewhere. But that's okay. So is the back of the train gone under the loader yet? No, it hasn't. Let's just make it come to a full stop here. Give it all the air brakes. 
All right, let's give it all the air brakes. And if we're lucky... No, there's the loader there. Can't load a caboose. I was going to try and load the last car just to get this ticked off. Yes, that coal loader does need a lamp. Let's see if we can trick it into loading. Not nah, smarter than that. Yeah, back in here. Piss off with your overcharge. It's only just. Give up. Gone. Release. There we go. Somehow putting it into first service tricked it. Are we in running? No, we're in first service. Come on, release it. Oh, I'm going to do that again, clearly. <sighs> Life. All right. Just gonna leave it running this time. But meanwhile, let's do it this way. Since it's not really liking the rail driver. Let's let it drop all the way to zero. We didn't have to drop it all the way to zero before, did we? Right, let's come back out of there. As that pumps up the train pipe, it should this time release. Maybe. Maybe. I suppose my independence applied or something silly. No. Now, I don't have to go back very far. Oh, there's a signal here, isn't there? Shit. Hopefully it goes green again. Where's the loader? Where is the loader? Oh, there it is. All right, we have to go back a fair way, further than I thought. We are clearly pushing it against the brakes. Now, as long as it stops any time in the next five or six cars, it'll be fine. Am I going to have to do a proper service break? Maybe. It's looking like it. That's going to stop it, I think. I think it's under the loader. So hard to tell. Can't stop. 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 Do it. Do it. Stop. Go on. Load it so we can get out of here. Uh, it still won't. Uh, you know what? I reckon 
We might just give up on Mr. Colco, I think. I have a faint suspicion we're going to have a red signal right in front of us, though. Oh, no, it's gone green again. Release the engine brake. Get back in here and release the train brake. Come on, running, running, running. Not first service. Running. There we go. Let's get out of here. Let's just pretend we did it. At least that signal went back to green. Couldn't always trust that happening. Still no tick off on that one, so we just want to go to the Elkhorn South through track 01. Through Bertha Junction, up here. That's a long bloody way in the dark, isn't it? Do we really want to do that? Through Rex, that's a very long way in the dark. That would actually take quite a while, I think. So now that it's moving... It won't even let me out of the train. There we go. Now that it is actually moving, before it goes into this next tunnel, I think this might be as good a place as any to end the stream for tonight, or this morning for me, tonight for most of you, because it's just going to be a train in the dark for about an hour, <laughs> if I leave it like this. So, into the tunnel it goes, and we'll watch it go in. And then we'll call it quits today, I think. So thanks heaps for watching, folks. Um, I will announce the winners of the scenario competition uh, later this afternoon, my time, on a post on the thing. I was going to announce them during the stream. I know I said I'd do that. But just due to some other commitments I had, I didn't get to actually run any of them. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. But I want to run some, run them just to see what they're like. And I will do that later this afternoon when I finish recording my tutorials for the thing that comes out at the end of the week. Because I've got a little bit more to do. Um, got some good feedback from Lucas, who basically said, Nah, you got it totally wrong. So uh, I've got to fix that one, which means I get to do another run on Wurzburg. Yay! Here's another hour of my life I'll never see again. <laughs> anyway, have fun. Enjoy yourselves. There goes the little red light. So that's a pretty good time to end, I think. Have a lovely day, evening, night, morning, whatever it is for you. And thanks for being around. See you later. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.